Owning a house is a dream for many and it's a sort of investment for life. We all spend all our savings investments to own a house. The moment we decide to buy a house, confusion arises whether to buy an independent house or an apartment. Especially people who live in metro cities like Mumbai, Bangalore, Delhi, etc. will usually have a liking for staying in an apartment. Nowadays in Bangalore, people opt for gated communities and apartments rather than independent houses. Look, I get it. It's your preference at the end. I just thought of penning down a small piece of information just to clear the confusion for people who are not able to decide between an apartment or an independent house. Hi, my name is Balaji and I welcome you to my channel today. If you are new here, subscribe now and tap the bell icon so that I can notify you whenever I post a new video. By the way, Brick Experts is a newest initiative from our team to provide valuable information on projects developed by top developers in the city and I have put my thoughts on such projects like price notes, review, comparison and much more. So visit www.brickexperts.in and check it out. Now without further ado, let's begin with our show. Firstly, increase in the land cost. The first and foremost, initially buying a site plot and constructing a house works out costlier for most of the time. Though you get your own piece of land in an individual house, but in apartments, undivided share of land for an individual flat is very less, hence the land value works out cheaper. It is one of the primary reasons why the people of Bangalore prefer apartments rather than independent houses. The cost and the stress of buying an independent house are much higher than buying an apartment. Buying an apartment is risk-free. The clearance, papers, paperwork, everything is taken care of by the builder. And people always think about safety. Most of the people buying apartments in Bangalore or settle here from other parts of the country and they feel safe in an apartment due to the security and other features provided in apartments. There is an unexpressed fear of a new place in any part of the world when you are new to that place. Apartments provide the utmost safety compared to an independent home. Apartments will have round-the-clock security services. Consider bank loans and papers. Getting housing loans are easier for apartments compared to independent homes. Most of the papers are pre-approved and only less work will be remaining. Getting loans for independent houses is not less than running a marathon. Buying an apartment is risk-free. The clearance papers, paperwork, everything is again taken care of by the builder as we said earlier. Think about amenities. While buying an apartment, you pay more money only for your house. While you get a whole community with premium amenities and added values such as security, enough parking space, power backup, water systems and fire safety mechanism in place. Almost all the apartments will have amenities like a walking and a jogging track, swimming pool, kids play area etc. Independent houses cannot get these amenities and only if you wish to go beyond your budget, an independent property needs extra effort for setting up these services. This would also include an extra cost of the total property value on these amenities or on an independent property. You should plan for setting up a small power backup in the form of an inverter or a generator yourself. High chances of getting into fraudulence is experienced in the independent homes. Inexperienced new buyers easily fall prey to uh, title fraud and scams when purchasing in independent homes. But in the case of apartments, buyers can check the track record, reputation and past record of the builder and can also fact check with the existing residents. This helps in investing the hard earned money in a trustworthy project. One can also check for the quality of the building. Apartments encourages communal harmony. Living in an apartment don't make you feel isolated. It always encourages societal living without any discrimination. At apartments, people from different places of the country are welcomed and if you live in a nuclear family in an independent house, you definitely feel isolated and left out. Then comes the maintenance. At apartments, the maintenance work is taken care of by the builder which makes your life hassle-free in your busy schedule. Whereas in independent homes, any breakdown needs to be looked after by you. Apartments and independent homes both have their perks and pitfalls. If you want privacy, your own garden and a hangout place at your house, then you should choose an independent home. An independent home best suited for a joint family and is very particular about the aesthetics of the home, the neighborhood and the privacy. And if you think your financial strength can complement this lifestyle, just go for it.
For middle class modern nuclear families, apartments suit the best. It matches the budget and most of the builders offer various configurations for different family sizes. Apartments will be available for every budget and providing all sorts of amenities and facilities to attract such buyers. If you want to spend time in a community space, then apartments are a good choice. Well, this is all from my perspective. What do you think and let me know your preference in the comment section. See you in my next video.